In this video, we are going to learn how to solve this partial fraction tricky question with the Casio FS901 ES Plus Scientific Calculator. And after going through this video, I guarantee you that this kind of tricky question, I will not basically say that it's complex but it's tricky. Okay, just for you to understand what it's talking about and you will know that it's simple but tricky as well. So, after going through this video, you will be able to do it fast and second. So, let's get the Casio calculator and go into the details. So this is Casio FS, another one ES Plus scientific calculator. As usual, as I have always said, you have to reset it or clear it to do that. Press Shift button nine, follow the instruction. Press three, quote and quote again. So we have clear the calculator now. The next thing will be to if you look at the options we have here, what that thing or what these values mean is that the alphabet A stands for a number. The alphabet B stands for a number. Okay. So we're going to store A as 13 on the calculator, store B as 22 on the calculator, and store 2 as X to replace X plus X in this X plus 3. And do the simplification and see if we're going to get an output that we equal what we also have when we simplify what we have here at the left hand side of the equation that's 7x minus 3 over x squared plus 5x plus 6. Okay, so let's begin so now we understand it better step by step. First, let's start to as x. We press this shift store x. Okay, now let's store a as 13. So we press 13 first. Press shift store. Look at a button. Okay, now let's store 22 as our b. Okay, 22 shift store b look at b button okay so let's begin with simplifying the question so remember we start x as 2 to use it to simplify this question so we have 7x alpha x minus 3 over so we have s square plus 5x alpha x plus 6 press equal to so we have 11 over 20 or 0 0.55 right now we're going to simplify what we have at the right why replacing a as 13 as b as 22 and see what it's going to give us okay so we have a fraction you impute a alpha a remember a we studied as 13 already Okay, we have a over a, the denominator is in bracket x plus 2. Okay, then we have plus our a fraction, our b is 22. So let's replace it with b here. Yeah, knowing that b is standing as 22. So we have over, we have c, our c of x there is x plus 3 alpha x plus 3 so that's what we have the realistic so c of x is x plus 3 that's all remember that the x in this x plus 3 we start x as 2 okay so basically when you check x plus 3 is 5 so instead of doing x plus 3 you can replace it with 5 anyone will still work you can just understand the logic behind it now let's press the quarter and see if we're going to have 0 0.55. No? So this is not what we got. So right now we're going to check option B. So let's wipe everything. The answer has to be option B. Okay? So let's start from the beginning and do this. Very, very interesting, guys. Now let's store minus 17 as A. Okay? Minus 17 as a okay then store 24 as b then as usual store our 2 as x okay so let's go again remember when we simplify this 7 s minus 3 over s square plus 5 f plus c we got 0 0.55 so let's just check the equation on the right hand side so we have 
alpha a our a is minus 17 now okay over in bracket x plus 2 sorry x plus 2 okay close the bracket so come to this side we have plus in fraction our b alpha b over so our c of x is x plus 3 alpha x plus 3 remember our b is 24 so let's press the quotes and see all we're going to have correct 0.55 so the correct option to this question is option b this was the value we got when we simplify 7x over 3 when we simplify 7x minus 3 over x squared plus 5x plus 2 so guys this is basically how you can deal with this kind of tricky partial fashion question of the Casio calculator in seconds and fast so learn something interesting for this video if you are new to the channel show you the subscribe button for more videos like this also like share and comment on this video tell me how you feel from what you have learned from this class if you seem to have any specific questions ask feel free to be a question in the comment section below and i'm sure to give you a response now you can choose to do it this way instead of putting a instead of storing a and b you can choose to go straight forward okay by doing since in that a is standing for minus 17 you just put minus 17 straight here okay then we have the only thing you need to store is just x the value of x to be 2 so we have alpha x okay start with brackets then we have plus 2 close the brackets then come to this side put your plus value in function again then our b is, is 24 you will still get the same value so c of x is alpha x plus 3 okay so that's it put it in brackets okay press your quotes so you still get the same value hope you got the idea of what i just did so i'll see you in my subsequent video don't forget to reset the calculator once you are done just press shift button 9 for the instruction and the calculator is cleared thanks for watching i will see you in my subsequent video